Good evening. Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. One of the most heavily traveled transit stations in the Northeast is a disaster scene tonight. A train packed with commuters on their way to New York City failed to stop as it crashed into a New Jersey rail station at the height of rush hour. Senior correspondent Rick Leventhal has been at the Hoboken, New Jersey station all day. He joins us live right now. Good evening, Rick. Good evening, Brett. There are unconfirmed reports a train was doing 30 miles per hour, three times the normal limit when it hurtled into the Hoboken train station this morning. The NTSB did not confirm that at a news conference that just wrapped up, but did tell us that the engineer who was hurt in the crash has been released from the hospital and will be speaking with investigators. They also told us part of the roof collapsed on that front car, so it's not safe to get in there until contractors can remove some of that debris. But they are able to get to the rear locomotive and say they will recover that event recorded which will give them information about speed and braking. And they're going to be reviewing video cameras as well, both on board the train, in the station, and along the train route, along the track. We've seen some of that footage already, which shows the three cars and the push locomotive at the rear hurtling toward disaster. Ambulances and other first responders were still arriving when we reached the Hoboken train terminal this morning. Some of the injured were walking out. Others were being rushed out on stretchers. More than 100 people getting treatment at the closest hospitals. I have a report of an MCI at Hoboken train station. Train into the station. New Jersey Transit train 1614 left Spring Valley, New York at 7.23 a.m. with an estimated 250 passengers on board when it arrived in Hoboken, one of the busiest stations in one of the nation's largest public transportation systems. Witnesses say the impact sounded and felt like a bomb going off. I observed it coming at a high rate of speed. It went over the bumper block, basically through the air, traveled about another 40 feet, came to a rest when it when it hit the wall of the uh, waiting room. Lights went out and just didn't stop and people were falling over who were standing and then it just the, the roof came down, uh, the, the roof of the train like popped down, caved in. The governors of New York and New Jersey spoke at a press conference this afternoon. This train came in at a high rate of speed into the station uh, and crashed through all of the barriers, bringing it right to the interior wall of the Hoboken Terminal. The silver lining is that uh, there's only been one fatality thus far because the destruction really is uh, significant. One woman was killed, apparently standing on the platform when she was hit by flying debris. The engineer in the front car was found semi-conscious and vague, according to a source at the scene. Trapped, he had to be extricated by firefighters and a police emergency response team and is now in critical condition. Some passengers kicked out windows to escape, others crawled to safety. It was surreal. It, 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 when it first shimmied, my first thought was, this is going to be a life changer. And then the impact came, and, and it is a life changer for everybody. Authorities say there are no signs of terrorism so far, but it's too soon to rule it out. And the NTSB describes the scene behind me as chaotic. It says its investigators will be here for the next seven to ten days. And there's been a lot of talk about positive train control, an automatic braking system that could have, might have stopped this train automatically before the crash. The NTSB says it supported that system for decades, and we will unlikely, uh, likely be hearing much more about that in the days, weeks, and months ahead, Brett. Up here on Capitol Hill as well, Rick Leventhal, live in Hoboken. Rick, thank you.